Hi, this is Annie from the ADHD Minimalist, and today I'm here without any makeup on and in my paint clothes. You can see my pants are all full of paint. This one is a rather expensive brush that I've been trying to wash out all the time, but I forgot it overnight in a plastic bag. And this is what happened. All the, the bristles get frayed out. Uh, I can show you how to wash your paint brushes so that you don't ever have this problem, but you do need to take care of them right away. This is one that I've had for a long time and I've been really careful about washing it. So you see that the bristles still look really nice. It does have a little bit of dark blue flex because I used it to paint something dark blue, but uh, the point is that you can still paint with this and it'll look really nice because the bristles are all sticking straight up. Um, again, this is an expensive brush. This maybe costs like $25 and it does not lose bristles while you're painting. This is also one of those really expensive brushes that it won't be losing bristles. Um, this one is also natural fibers, but it's a much cheaper brush. So I've used some of these, but they do, they do shed. So this one sheds a lot. So I was painting a door and I maybe lost 10 to 15 of these hairs. And that's not very fun when you're painting. So if you're going to invest in a really good brush, then it's, it's advantageous to learn how to take care of it properly so it doesn't look like this. Okay. So when you dip your brush in the paint, you just want to dip the very end because remember I showed you that the bristles were sticking out on this brush, kind of see it from here. The problem is that what happens is the paint dries here in the bottom and then it pushes the bristles out. So if you try to keep the paint at the end of the brush, you'll have less of a problem with that when you try to clean it later. So then I have just a little bitty board here. I'm gonna... oh, wait again. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is my kitchen sink. I've been doing a lot of washing and rinsing of paint in here. So you can see it kind of coats uh, the metal and it makes it look dull. So you have to be careful to wash it out as soon as you can. Okay, this is a bar of soap. It's just olive soap. And I use this to wash my brushes. The but olive oil in the soap, uh, it sort of revitalizes the hairs on these natural brushes and it keeps them from breaking off and getting old really fast. So the best way to wash these brushes is with olive oil soap. Now, the best way I found to do this is to first make the soap a little bit wet. And you can wet your brush and try to rinse off as much as you can before you start using soap. Then I am going to brush this brush onto the soap and I usually just I make sure I get both sides like this several times. And when you feel like you've got enough on your brush, then you do like this. What I'm doing is I'm working the soap down into the very bottom of the brush, and this is going to get the paint out of the bottom of the brush. And that's usually the problem that most people have when they wash their brushes, that most people don't have a clue the best way to wash a brush to begin with, and then they're not getting the soap into the bottom of the brush. So this is actually one of the only ways I've found that you can get it in the bottom without um, too much effort. You see that the bubbles are working their way down. And now some of them are up down there. So I'm literally just making circles on my hand. Like if you had it like this, you would see doing this just upside down to make the, the bubbles go down into the bottom. And you can see it and the bubbles are down there and a little bit more. And then I'm going to start washing it off with water and I'm going to do it again. I usually do this three times and then it's good if you can go outside and then shake your brushes out outside because it gets more of the water out. If you can't do that, 
just do the best you can. Um, try putting a towel over it and then shaking it in the sink. I mean like putting a towel over the top of the sink like this and then like shaking the brush like this underneath um, is a good way to get some of the water out if you have a live in an apartment or it's too cold to go outside and shake brushes. So you see all of those bubbles have now worked their way down into the bottom of the brush and now I'm going to rinse it off. Okay, normally I would repeat this process three times and then I would, after the third time, make that when you rub the brush like this and force the bubbles down to the bottom that it's not forcing out more paint. And you'll know that because you'll see that the color of paint you're painting with is coming out of the bottom of the brush. That's a clue that there's still more in there and you might need to do it a fourth time. Then usually I go outside and I do this, except a uh, harder and more forcefully. Um, like I said, if you have, if you have a really small apartment, you can try to cover your sink with a towel and then shake as hard as you can under the towel. And this usually works pretty well too. So that is how you properly clean a brush so that you don't have the problems that I have with this brush that they're the bristles are all sticking out to the side. Now, what I'm gonna do with the sink to get the paint off the sink is I'm seriously just gonna use dishwashing detergent that like, yes, that you would use to wash your dishes and that will take all this off the sink. The soap would work on the sink as well. It's just not quite as convenient because it's not runny. Remember to check out my blog, theadhdminimalist.com, and I have several articles about how to make egg paint in both English and Swedish. Uh, search for the ADHD minimalist.com on Google and then go into the magnifying glass and search in the blog for egg paint in English or egg with dots in Swedish and those articles will come up and that has all the information you need for it.